Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to another random review. Today I'm bringing you a two, 2022 film out of Ohio. This is an independent horror film. The movie we're going to be talking about, which was directed, written by, and starring Jake Jollies. And the movie we're going to be talking is Clay Zombies. This is a live-action movie with claymation zombies. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a lot of fun. When you watch this trailer, you see what I mean. It's, it's fun as hell. So pretty much what the gist of this movie is, you have this company, they're working on all sorts of projects. ES, people with ESP, uh, one is the special skin graphing, which was stopped because of the side effects. The skin graph was using the clay. They would figure out they can mold this clay into these skin grafts that it would help heal and do what they need to do to help people. Well, uh, it didn't work because it turned people into clay zombies and also there's two scientists one is dr clay uh molder he is like kind of like the he wants to warn everybody uh what's going on and you have another scientist I forgot his name already i apologize but he becomes your villain he's got the esp he's got like a high level security he's turning this into like a weapon he pretty much wants to start a clay apocalypse which we actually they're calling it <laughs> So he's taking over the taking all this over and he figures I'm gonna turn this also into a cult. Maybe get people to turn people into clay zombies and he can mind control them. Well anyway, Dr. Clay goes down to home, down to the town and he enlists the help of a local reporter. Pretty much showing him about this clay. The reporter's like, really? Clay? We're in kindergarten? <laughs> well he says, if he touches your clothing you're good, but if it's if, but if you touch the clay, you're gonna have a bad day. He's like, "What are you talking about?" So pretty much, he accidentally touches himself with the clay, and he morphs into a clay zombie in front of the reporter's face. Pulls off running and realizing, people are now getting turned into clay zombie monsters just by being touched or eaten by these clay creatures. Uh, Jolly's plays a comic book worker, you know, he's working on a free comic book day, uh, realizes what's happening, he, he needs to go back home to save his dog. His dog is like his best friend. Uh, Kamal's, <coughs> excuse me, so they're gonna, a ragtag of survivors, they want to go back and save his dog, you know, try to get everybody together to figure out how to stop this clay apocalypse. You have some pretty cool survivors, you have the town sheriff, who loves to use his grenades with paprika. <laughs> That's in there. He likes to spice things up, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you have some other scientists from the facility who are working together. Uh, you have a dude who thinks he's a blade slash werewolf person. <laughs> so you have all these groups of people. Well, anyway, the company that started the clay apocalypse steals his dog because they want to do animal testing to figure out what else they can do. So the FBI comes in recruits the ragtag team and they have to go in save the dog stop the clay apocalypse and pretty much live happy ever happily ever after so that's the gist of this movie so you're probably thinking clay zombies is this movie all claymation no it's all live action except for the actual monsters the clay zombies are actually all claymation which i thought was really cool so you're gonna see some weird claymation type zombies <coughs> Fun as hell. I was laughing hysterically every time they came on the screen. And uh, I thought it was pretty good. Like, you got some cool deaths. Uh, a lot of cool acting. Like, the acting was fine. The music. Okay. The main title of the song is very, very catchy. Uh, it's put out by a band called Fire Tiger. Recommend going to that YouTube, looking up, like, the, the um, trailer for this. And then you see the music video, too. It's very catchy. If you like 80s uh, music, 80s pop, rock type style, you'll have a good time with it. Also, I thought it was pretty cool. <sighs> I already forgot her name. I'm horrible at names, so I'm sorry. I mean, this uh, DJ here, she was in um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. She was one of the princesses. Also, if you know Better Off Dead, she was the French foreign exchange student. The, my mind's gone, so I completely forgot her name. I apologize. She has a cool cameo in there. I thought that was pretty neat. 
uh, this Blu-ray does have some special features. It has uh, director commentary, deleted scenes, a Q&A panel at the London State Theater, the Fire Tiger music video, bloopers. The original short film was on here too, which I thought was really cool. Because they kept talking about the short film in the Q&A. I'm going, is that in here? I looked, I'm like, oh shit. So I stopped the Q&A and I watched the short. The short was pretty neat. Different actors and everything, but it plays well. And there's trailers. But also too is when you buy the Blu-ray, where is it? You also get a comic book with it too. So if you're a big comic book fan, uh, black and white style comic, very small, short pages, but it's a freebie that comes with the Blu-ray. You can buy it right on their website. Uh, it comes from Ohio, so it's in the U.S., so it could come pretty quick, so you never know. So I definitely recommend it. Again, I'll put the link to the store, to the their main website, down below in the description. So guys, check out Clay Zombies from 2022 help support independent horror help su support physical media if you're a big media supporter and collector highly recommend picking this one up guys for your collection thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little review let me know in the comments down below if you've seen this one or thinking about picking it up guys again thanks for watching keep collecting and be safe and remember if you touch the clay you will have a bad day peace